Hi there, Allison here with another Cap Front Du Jour. Today we are in Canada and we're looking at the 2027 Sellers 2019 Falls Vineyard Cap Franc. This project really began as a virtual winery when Kevin Penagapka made his first 100 cases of wine back in 2007. Kevin's philosophy from the get-go has really been about terroir-driven wines that are single vineyard specific, working with great growers and the varieties that Kevin is truly passionate about, like Chard, Pinot, a bit of Riesling, uh, a bit of, uh, he also makes some great uh, traditional method sparkling wines as well. This 2019 Cap Franc is in fact his inaugural vintage for Cabernet Franc, and it's coming from the Falls Vineyard uh, in the Vine Mount Ridge VQA sub-appellation. Now the Vine Mount Ridge Appalachian is uh, quite a large Appalachian in terms of area, but it's also one of the coolest in the Niagara Peninsula. The vineyards kind of sit atop the Niagara Escarpment at, at a sort of a moderate elevation of 180 to 200 meters above sea level. And the, the vineyards are, are quite a bit removed from the influence of Lake Ontario to the north, making this area a bit cooler in terms of growing degree days. Now the Falls Vineyard is located just south of the village of Jordan. The soils here are a heavy silty clay. The block of Cab Franc here is around five acres and the vines were planted in 2001. So let's give this wine a taste. Um, Kevin tells me that his approach with Cabernet Franc is really um, kind of to emulate the Loire. So he wants to focus on the fruit, uh, finesse, elegance, and really no influence of wood. And the 2019 vintage was a cooler vintage for the Niagara Peninsula. So I'm getting some nice red uh, fruits on the nose, like red raspberry, a bit of cranberry there. And there's a nice herbaceousness that balances those fruits. Uh, I'm getting a bit of thyme and a little bit of sh sugar snap peas actually, which I really like. Mm. All that fruit and herbaceousness comes through really beautifully on the palate. The acidity is quite bright, a little bit crunchy. Hmm. And there's a nice sort of spice note there, like white pepper or baking spice kind of going on on the finish. But the tannins are really particular. There's this sort of um, almost, a, they're soft supple, but there's a little chew going on sort of in the mid palate and, and it gives this breadth and roundness in terms of the structure. And I think it's that combination of the fruit, the acidity, and sort of how those tannins kind of pull everything in that makes this wine really interesting. Um, it, it does have this great early drinking appeal, but I think there's some ageability here as well. But it's a fantastic introduction to Kevin's approach with Cab Franc, and I look forward to future vintages. For those of you that are in Ontario, this wine is available online through the winery, and it's $35 Canadian. Uh, and Kevin also has a retail space now, which is super exciting. And hopefully uh, the spring and the summer, he'll be able to get that back open again, and uh, you'll have a chance to visit and taste. I've loved Kevin's wines for a really long time, and uh, this is such a great introduction to his approach with Cab Franc. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, and I will be back again soon with another wine. Cheers.